Hey guys, welcome back for another video. If you are new here, hi, hello, and welcome. My name is Courtney, and I just want to throw out there that my twin sister Ashley and I share this YouTube channel together so you get double the motivation. I hope everyone is having a great Saturday so far. So as you can tell, sorry, as you can tell, today's video is full of a lot of cleaning motivation for you guys. Also speed cleaning because it would take probably four hours to go through just this one video. So we speed it up so that way you're not sitting here all day long. But if you are into cleaning motivation, make sure you subscribe so you do not miss out on any more content. And let's get into starting off cleaning up the kitchen. I am going in and showing you what cleaner I'm using and what bottle I'm reusing because I love the way that this bottle sprays. I don't um, refill it with the same cleaner that it came with. I go in with totally, the totally awesome, no, was it awesome? Hold on. Fabuloso brand and the lemon scent because I love the way lemon smells. It's kind of refreshing, honestly. So I will pop in and out when needed. Let's get into cleaning up this kitchen. If you're from the west side, Cali, born and raised right. From the town with the palm trees and good vibes You know the best vibes soaking up the sunshine And we hustle cause we tryna live a good life I'm driving down the coast, coast Homies in the back bumping loud You know, you know, we ain't got no worries This my home, my home. And I don't plan on leaving There ain't nothing better than the west side That's right And I'm right. like, ooh, we We on the map Alrighty, so now the microwave is all clean. That is my biggest pet peeve is having a dirty microwave. So let me know down below what your biggest pet peeve is. It doesn't have to be in the kitchen. It could be anywhere, anything. It could be chewing too loud, all of that, because that's another one I have. But microwave is definitely like number one. But now that the stove top is all nice and clean, we are going in also doing the inside of the oven. It was very over do um so no judgy and if you need a reminder here is your reminder to do your oven as well you know just in time for thanksgiving if you are cooking so yes this is my oven and it needed some loving i only went in with hot water on my rag i did try some other things and you will see to get um that those black dots off in my oven i can't get them off they've been there for like ever and if you have any tricks on to how to get these off, let me know. I would really, really, really appreciate it. Let me know down in the comments because I'm annoyed by them. And I've, I think I've tried literally everything to get them off. So 
let's get into almost deep cleaning this oven. Also, I'm 98% sure that white residue that you see me wiping up is from the oven cleaner that I used a while ago. It took a lot of, you know, sessions of wiping my inside of my oven to get that stuff off. Do not get me wrong, it works great, but the residue, you know, comes back a few times. So I just wanted to give you that little warning with that. guys i was so annoyed when i dropped that plant and then had to pick up all the dirt <laughs> i was like please just stop i don't know why you know what though i was very tired that day and very like antsy and moody that's probably why it was like that because usually i'm like oh what a ditz and i'll usually pick it up or whatever but mm -mm. and then i had the audacity <laughs> to put it right back the way it was so that way you know the next time i go to clean it it will probably um you know fall again and i'll probably have the same reaction or i might not we're gonna have to see i i guess i might let you know in the next video if i remember or not so let's get into getting all of these clean dishes put away so that way we can put all the dirty ones in there and i don't i do not start the dishwasher um, because it wasn't full, I don't start my dishwasher unless it's full. Other than that, um, even sometimes if there's just a little bit in the sink, I will just hand wash them. I don't want to waste water, you know what I mean? So let's get into putting all of these dishes away.
So I was wondering if you guys are into these real life like ASMR moments, even though it's mostly sped up or does it like annoy you or you're not a fan of it. Please let me know down in the comments because um, maybe we could add them, you know, more often into our videos and stuff like that. And, you know, now we know if you don't like them to not add them. And if we, you know, you do like them, we know to add more or whatever. So let's get into cleaning up this sink. I'm going in with some Ajax and then I'm going to use my scrub brush and give it a nice deep clean and make it nice and shiny and basically disinfect it because Ajax has bleach inside it. So let's get into it guys. <laughs> So we can check off the microwave being done, the oven, the stovetop, the counters, the dishes, the sink being nice and cleaned. And now this area of my kitchen all nice and organized and put back together. So right after this, we are going into what I made for dinner that night. So I ended up getting some turkey ground beef and a mixed vegetable blend from Walmart. And I seasoned it up and I'm going to show you guys what I did. It was off of a whim. I kind of just tossed it all together and, you know, called it a night type of deal. It wasn't anything special. I just figured I would share it with you guys. Um, as you can see, it was like still frozen even though I had it in the fridge for a while. So... It would have been much easier and faster if it wasn't frozen. So just throwing that out there, you can go in with non-frozen ground beef or, I mean, um, ground beef or turkey or whatever, you know, type of grounded type of meat you like and throw in whatever vegetables you would like. I quick and easy dinner, loved it, and my 10-year-old loved it as my 3-year-old sat there with chicken nuggets and french fries because she's a picky eater. And if you're our mom out there, you know that, so... Let's get into showing you what I cooked for dinner and what I used to cook. Well, you know, seasoned, I mean, for dinner. <laughs> With dinner. <laughs> feeling good, feeling great. Cause I got a big old smile upon my face. And you can't take that away. Mm -hmm. 
feeling good, feeling great And I know today is going to be my day And you can't take that away You can't take that away, away, away You can't take that away, away, away You can't take that away, away, away You can't take that away, you can't take that away Cause today it is my day I got a big gold smile upon my face And you can't take that away Feeling good, feeling great And I know today is going to be my day And you can't take that away Alrighty, so now we are in the bathroom. This would be day two, and I'm shaking out that dirty bath mat. <laughs> and as you could tell in the overview, I really needed to get this bathroom cleaned. Like I say in almost all of my videos, the camera gives us too much justice. It was way dirtier than it looked, and it's so hard to like get it to show up on camera, like all of like the hair and the dust and the dirt and if there's crumbs and all of that do not mind how um disorganized underneath my cabinet is either no judge you guys one of these days i will get to organizing that and you will see it i just don't know when i'm not putting a promise to a date or when but it will happen it will i promise but we are cleaning off the top of this vanity so that way I can get into actually really cleaning up this vanity area. It was much needed. Toothpaste, hair, and all of that needed to go. They are no longer our friends and we said goodbye to them. So let's get into it. I can hear your heart beat. <laughs>
So the sink is nice and clean, the shower is nice and clean, and the toilet is almost nice and clean. But once I am done putting the trash bucket back and, you know, cleaning the rest of the toilet, we will be moving on to vacuuming and mopping the floors. And that's basically going to sum up the video. I just wanted to say quickly, thank you so much for choosing my video to watch today. Make sure you subscribe so you do not miss out on any more content. And make sure you follow our Instagram account. I will show you the name and... On the screen right here, it's called It's the Twins, Court and Ash. So make sure you follow that to a T so you can find our Instagram account. And again, yeah, make sure you subscribe so you do not miss out. And make sure you leave a comment down below with any of the questions that I had and you might have an answer for. So thanks, guys. Bye.